That's right guys, it's finally here. The new 2020 iMac. What's going on guys? Brian Schmidt here with yet another video. And in this video, we will be unboxing the new 2020 27 inch iMac. That's right. Now, leading up to this point, I've been researching getting a new computer or laptop for video editing for nearly the last two years. I've actually been editing on my old Samsung laptop for basically the last 10 years. And it's gotten to the point where it literally takes hours, an entire day to render and export just a simple 10 minute HD video, not even 4K. If I try to do 4K on it, it crashes 99.9% .9 of the time. I can't do it. So I've done hours and hours, literally hundreds of hours of research to come to this conclusion of why I am finally switching from PC to Mac and more specifically, the 2020 27 inch iMac. But first, if you're new to this channel, me and my wife Priscilla, we typically do travel vlogs all over the place, reviewing theme parks, giving tips on cruises, and all kinds of different things. Really cool stuff. But we also occasionally do the tech review and unboxing on some of the products we use for these videos. And that's why we're here today. Now, without any further ado, I literally can't wait to open this thing up. Let's get to the unboxing. A box inside a box. get this thing going. Oh, I don't even need a knife. Got the pull tab up here. And the first thing we have here, I believe, yep, is the magic keyboard and the magic mouse two. I don't know, I've never had a one. However, I won't even be using this because I bought my own mouse that will be a little bit better for video editing purposes. I'll put the link to the mouse I got down below. It has a little scroller on top and scroller on the side so you can edit your timeline easier. <laughs> USB cord. And what is this? Instructions I'll never read. Apple stickers, never use. Ooh, what is this little, is this a microfiber cleaning cloth for the screen, I'm assuming. Now let's get to the important part. Power cord. Ooh. And there it is, 2020, 27 inch iMac. So now I'm gonna check back in with you guys after I power this baby on. So long story short, I decided to go with Apple and specifically the iMac so I can customize this into a video editing beast. Whether I continue with just standard 1080p edit in 4K, but even in the future, possibly editing in 8K, hoping that this computer and the specifications I got will actually be able to handle that footage and process it. 
So the very first option with this computer is it asks you if you wanna to upgrade to the new nano textured glass. This is one of the new features for the 2020 iMac. It's super popular. A lot of people are getting this because of that glass. Obviously, the screen is already awesome. And basically from my research, I found that the nano textured glass, all it really does is reduce the amount of glare. For instance, my blinds are actually on this side over here, but if you're in an environment where you can't control the lighting, you may wanna go ahead and get that nano textured glass. But for me, like I said, my blinds are over here. All I can have to do is really just turn the monitor this way a little bit to avoid that glare. If you don't have that option, if you're getting this computer for a workplace and you can't turn your computer a certain way, then maybe you wanna get that nano textured glass, but that glass is gonna cost you an extra $500 on this. And in my opinion, I didn't necessarily need it because I wanted to use that money elsewhere. Now with some of the money I was saving with the display, I decided to get the best possible highest option for the processor, I got the Intel i9 10 core processor. I also got eight gigabytes of RAM, just the base one that it comes with. I'll explain that in a minute. The graphics card I got was the Radeon Pro 5700 with 16 gigabyte memory. And finally, I went ahead and just upgraded to the one terabyte of storage on here because mostly with my video work, I'll be using external hard drives so I wouldn't go too crazy getting too much storage on this. I would want just one terabyte to work with, but obviously with, they have some amazing external storage units nowadays. So I have one of those that I'll be working off of. Now back to the RAM, like I said, I just got the base level, the eight gigabytes because, and this is why I finally decided to go with this product, this right here specifically, is you can actually upgrade the iMac all the way up to 128 gigabytes of a third party RAM source without having to go through Apple. Now, if you got 128 gigabytes on when you initially ordered this itself through Apple, it's $2,000. It's an insane amount of money for RAM. And honestly, I don't think I know anyone that probably even needs 128 gigabytes. So what I actually did is I went with the third party. I got 64 gigabytes of OWC RAM right here. It's uh, two cards of 32 gigabytes. Now the iMac actually has four separate slots for RAM that you can open up in the back of this. Now I said this is the eight gigabyte model, so it already has two slots filled with four gigabytes of RAM, which you can obviously take out, you can leave them in, or you can add to it with the other two open slots. And that's why I got this right here. This is two 32 gigabyte cards right here, making a total of 64 gigabytes that I'm gonna put in those two empty slots, making a total of 72 gigabytes of RAM. That's a lot, especially for video editing, working with effects, all the above. I shouldn't have any problems moving forward with rendering, exporting, or even just working in what I use, Premiere Pro, for my video edits. Now, I went with this option because in the future, if I, for some reason, need to upgrade it any farther, I can remove those four gigabyte RAM cards and get another two 32 gigabyte cards, making it a total of 128 gigabytes of RAM, which is absolutely insane. Now, I don't think I'll ever need to do that, but that's why I got this model is I have that option to go that route if I truly wanted to. So the last thing I'll probably end up customizing is also the keyboard, cause this thing is super tiny and I really like mechanical keyboards as an option. So I'll be kind of browsing around. Uh, leave suggestions down below and as to what keyboard you guys think I should go ahead and get. But anyways, um, I will leave in the link the type of RAM I got, as well as the exact mouse I got. And yeah, I believe that's it. So anyways, this was a quick little unboxing video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. With this computer, I'll be able to make you guys a lot more videos. 
much faster. It's not gonna take me weeks to basically export a super short basic video. Um, it's gonna save me a ton of time and I'm really looking forward to working with this machine. So anyways, if you guys haven't yet, subscribe to the channel, comment below, like the video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.